the embrace system here we're going to go over is the, the pediatric version. And the, the things that I would like to go over with you is a, a, a technique for mounting the system where you're going to hit a home run every single time. Um, the adjustments that you can get with it, the moldability of the back as well as the dynamic nature of the back. And then we're going to go into as far as like some of the growth features that you can get with it that's, that's basically an all-inclusive system. What we have here is basically a new way of doing old business. Everything that we know before for pediatric seating has been plywood and T-nuts and you get your one set of adjustments. It's big, it's heavy, it's bulky. The system that we have here is light. It's much, much lighter than alternative seating systems out there. Um, so as far as having a system that you're going to be able to push and take off easily and be able to, to mold and change without adding weight. And that's one of, a, that's one of the great things about this back is the, the all-inclusiveness of it. The things that we know before for pediatric seating, if you want to have some sort of contour to the back, you have to get a piece of plywood that you add a piece of hardware to and you can get a, a biangular break in it so that you can have a little bit of lumbar support. We've addressed that with this back. We, if you want to be able to angle rotate, you have to upgrade your hardware, which increases weight to the whole entire system. Not only is it heavy for the patient to be pushing around if, they, so if, they're, if they're actually a self-propeller, but it's also for mom and dad to be able to take the system and put it into a car. It's just, we spent a lot of time and effort on reducing the weight without having to um, sacrifice for adjustability in the system. So let's first start out with the mounting of this back. And what I have here is I have a 1212 embrace system and I have every single bolt on here loosened up. And, and I can't stress the importance enough of this is when you have everything loose on the system and how it actually is going to fit into the receiver. It's going to give you a home run every single time if you follow these simple steps just to, to get the back onto the wheelchair frame. So right here, we've mounted our receivers on the back canes. We got them just about level. Um, I've pre-done this, but I mean, it takes just a couple seconds to get these things on. And with everything loose here, we have everything loose, so we have all the adjustment in the world to be able to angle these. What we're going to do is we're going to grab a hold of the plungers. We're going to fit one side of the plunger into the receiver. If you see that, everything is loose here. We now take the other side, and we fit the plunger into the other one. If you notice, there was no struggling. There's no messing around with anything. I can have these, these receivers in different angles and still be able to get there. And that's one great thing about the Compass hardware is that the, the Compass hardware is going to allow you to take this 12 inch back and grow it to a 14 inch. If you actually come around the back here and take a look, we have all of this room in these brackets right here to grow this to the next size frame. We can grow it to a 13 and we can grow it to a 14 wide system. So this one back will go to a 13 and to a 14 wide system. And this is on the 12 inch frame here. Now once we lock our plungers down here, we've got them locked down. Everything here is still loose. I just want to show you the adjustability that you can get with this back just in the angle rotation that you can get with it. I mean we get quite a bit of angle not only that, we can take and we can move these forward and we can move it back in between the canes. We can take these and we can actually flip them around so you can get this back out in front of the seat cushion by about five inches. Taking them and flipping around to the other side like we have here and flipping these brackets around to the other side, we actually can get four inches of, of adjustment back behind the canes. So taking this back, being able to adjust it forwards and back, is one of the great features about being able to grow the system. So once we figure out our back height, we can adjust our back height either with the canes here, we can loosen these up or we can move them down, or everything can be done from the back as well. We have a couple bolts here that we can adjust the back height, so I'm going to pick a back height off right about here, and we're going to tighten down one bolt. By tightening down one bolt, we now have locked in the height of the back. 
I can take this one and I can tighten this down. Just snug these bolts up. And I'll talk about the bolts in a little bit as well, which is a great selling feature of this bag. So now that we have our back height, we can take and we can adjust our angle. If we find the right angle that we want, I'm going to pick the angle right about there. And I'm just going to tighten one down. So by tightening this down, now we have our angle picked. And if you see, there's actually very little movement in the back as, as we're already sitting. This all can be done while the patient is in the chair, which is one of the great things about this back. Everything is done with one wrench from the back of this back. So now that we have this tightened up, I don't have everything tight on here, but it shows you the stability that we have with this back already. Um, tighten down one bolt for the height, for the angle adjustment, for the in and out, and we're already there. There's a couple safety features that I kind of want to show you on this Compass hardware as well that we've taken. So when you have this single point of attachment with the Compass hardware, we've added these cleats to here. These cleats do a really good job of preventing any unwanted rotation in the back. So if you have a kid with really high tone or a headbanger or someone who's just you know, bending or breaking hardware for whatever reasons, whether it be transfers or whatever, this is one safety feature. The other safety feature, which a lot of people don't know about it, and it's a new addition to the Compass hardware, is this little bolt that's in there right there. What this little bolt does is you can take and you can tighten it down and it's a little screw inside of there that will set forward onto the bolt and it will prevent any unwanted rotation. They're on both sides and you can take and you can tighten this down and you tighten it until you get it all the way in and it's going to prevent any rotation. If you actually look on the Compass hardware, the top bolt is slotted and you can see where that bolt actually goes in there will actually touch that and prevent any unwanted rotation of the back. So between these two safety features, we've taken any ability for this rotation to come out. Now, it is something that you are going to have to back off if you want to add more rotation in the back and adjust it, adjust it later on. Um, but two features of that compass hardware that we've, that we've taken to prevent any adjustments. Um, for growth, this system, the old way of doing business, like I said before, peanuts, plywood, um, had to add hardware onto everything in order to get it done. Just to kind of sh to show you the all-inclusiveness of this bag, we've added strap guides into every single one of our bags. We have a universal hole pattern for everyone else's headrest that are out there. So we don't have the need to put any more hardware on here for strap guides. We don't have the need to hardware for any adapter plates because we have a universal hole pattern here for the, for the headrest. It's, it's a great all-inclusive system that we can maintain and keep it light without having to add anything on. Now, let me take the cover off and show you more of the adjustability that we can get with this system. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this back off and I have one set up here and back. And before I put this one on, notice how easy this back slides in. By keeping everything loose and then tightening it down, we hit a home run every single time with this when we put the plunger. There's no trying to futz with hardware or trying to, you know, having it bind or anything like that. It's every single time it's going to fit in there. And the Compass hardware, the way it is designed, is that if the chair would come out of square a little bit, or if the, the seat pan isn't all the way in, it's just a little bit off, there's a play in there so that you can get that Compass hardware to sit down and to lock it in place so that it's going to stay and hold there. All right. Now this back I have set up with a lot of other stuff on it. We've got our, our laterals, we've got our Compass hardware, we've got our removable headrest bracket here, and with the lateral pad covers, of which we'll talk about in a little bit. And I had this one set up the exact same way. If you notice, it just fits in like butter. But I wanted to put this one on to show you of the all-inclusiveness of this back, of how we can adjust things without adding any 
hardware. Currently, any with pediatric systems, in order to customize it, there's a few things that you have to do. You have to add hardware on for a binder bank. You have to add hardware on for an adjustable lumbar to account for growth. You have to pull bolts off and put them back on in order to move hardware. You have to take four points of attaching hardware off in order to put it on. Now, I do want to kind of go back and say we do offer four points of a hardware for this in case that um, for your extremely high tone patients and um, for headbangers that we do offer a four points of attachment, but this two points of attachment works great. It doesn't eat up real estate. You can mount it really anywhere on the, on the wheelchair cans and you get all the adjustments. For the, for your laterals, now this is, this is absolutely great. For your lateral adjustment, all from the back, you can take these and if you notice, I just loosened up this ring right here, this contoured wing. You can get more offset in or you can move them out. So you can take and you can get just with this alone, you can get an inch and a half to two inches of offset in for your laterals. The other thing about this is that the, because it's on the tracks and the way that it's designed, if you notice, I can angle this pad. So if you have someone with a scoliosis or a little bit extra tissue, you can actually get an angle to this pad so you can create greater contact. The pads all have foam on the top edge, so there's no hard edges for the top. So if you have someone that's leaning or if you're trying to correct the scoliosis using your three-point method, that you have someone who's leaning over the top of it, you're not going to run into any shear issues with the top edge of the pad. It's the little things that we paid attention to with the system that sets us apart from everyone else's. When you're just going down to the nuts and the bolts, I know nuts and bolts are kind of mundane, but it's, it's one of the great features of this. We went from pan head bolts to a deep headed M5 bolt. We have a five millimeter wrench, an M6 millimeter bolt and we have an M6 wrench, we can take and we can get a quarter inch of this wrench into that head of that bolt and we can crank down on this and we can absolutely go to town on it and you're not gonna strip that bolt out. There's steel bolts, there's steel threaded nuts on the inside that we've gone overboard on the amount of necessary threads. So strip bolts are going to be a thing of the past when they're gonna use this system and I cannot stress enough, I challenge you guys to ask every single one of your dealers how many bolts that they've stripped out and how many hours of wasted time that they have used trying to use easy outs and backing out old bolts and for stripped out things. It's going to be a thing of the past with this system. So the bolts, the lock washers, we even spent a lot of time and energy on the lock washers that we picked out so that they're not going to back out with just normal use of the wheelchair. Um, not to mention that you're gonna be able to lock them down and tighten them a lot more than any other system out there. So, like I said, it's the little things that we paid attention to on the system with the amount of adjustments that we can get and the amount of growth. So not only do we have the angle adjustability, height adjustability on the back with this pad, but I can lock this down, offset in from the inside. Then, I even can get height adjustment for the pads just on the slots without having to move these wings. So I can get on this system five inches of height adjustment that's in a slot for the pads after it's locked in on the back, not to mention I can do it in the back as well. So you can get contour to this back, adjust the laterals up and down, and the contour that we're giving you down is going to be right around your lumbar region where we need it. Curve backs, big problem with curve backs that we have that we've addressed with this system is that when you have someone sitting in your chair, you need that contour around your lumbar and your mid thoracic region. What we've done is now we flatten the top of the back so you, and giving you a scapular relief here so you can come back, get the contour of the back where you need to, and actually sit all the way back with your shoulders back. Because with the curved backs, the current old way of doing business is that you have a curve that comes all the way up to the top and it creates you to have 
your shoulders come forward with this and you see a lot of kids sitting in chairs like this. It's because the curved back comes in and it forces the scapulas to come forward. So by having a flat back with scapular cutoffs, now we've enabled them to sit back with their shoulders back and really come to a full rest. Like I said, it's the little things. It's the new way of doing old business. You get all the adjustments with slots, no T-nuts, I can't stress that enough, and you get all the adjustment in and out, up and down. You're gonna be able to grow the frame from, from the size that you order to two inches greater. So if you order a 12, you can grow it to a 14. If you order a 14, you can grow it to a 16. If you order a 13, you can grow it to a 15. So on and so forth. The all-inclusive nature. With this system of going on the, the all-inclusiveness of it and being able to adjust it and mold it. And I can't wait to talk to you guys about the dynamic feature of this system too because it's the only one out there that does it. And I will touch on that in just a little bit. So like the Activac, which is technology that we have patented, are these aluminum stays. Great as an adult solution, better as a pediatric solution. What we can do here is we have these flat aluminum stays. We can take this and we can mold them to the lumbar region to give them a little bit of a mold. Using your knee, you can get a little bit more of a direct input. Look at all of that lumbar that we gave. Now the best thing about this, this is something that we can mold over and over and over again. An easy way to do it with the patient sitting in the chair is actually slip these onto the cover in front of the patient. And you can actually see, this isn't gonna hurt the patient, but you can actually see when the patient's sitting there of how much lumbar roll you're gonna get. So after we mold these, we take them and we put them into the sleeve and we put them down. Again, these are patented Comfort Company aluminum stays. Really quick bend. And look at all that contour that back that we just gave. I mean, for a ped, you have your PSIS sitting right here your lumbar going up to the flat section of your, where your scapulas are going to be, you're going to be able to take these and you can mold them over and over again. If we have someone that's just a little more severe than that, let's do something here that you probably rarely, if not ever, do. Let's give them a severe, severe lordosis. We can take that, we can put that back in here. We can slide that down. Same thing with this one. And you can see how much contour that we just gave that system. Severe lordosis. Again, just to kind of show you the, the contour and everything in between that you can get with this and adjust it as your client goes. Look at what we did there. Look at the amount of where your PSIS would be sitting back with that lordosis coming off. In unison with the headrest on here. That's a beautiful system. This headrest I'll talk about in just a little bit as well too as far as the, the all-inclusive, the, the adjustments that you can get on there. this back over. I mean, look at the asymmetries that we just accommodated for. Now granted, that's kind of an extreme case, but even with the laterals here, I mean the laterals, now we can take those laterals and we can move them in and out. It's adjustment, it's the all-inclusiveness. To do this with another system, you're going to have to unzip a cover. You're going to have to put a foam block in there, some sort of foam block. You're going to have to buy a piece of hardware and attach it to a system, or you'd have to buy an entire new bag. Um, most of the time on something like this, you'd actually be considering a custom mold because there's no off-the-shelf product out there that you can go and actually get this lumber mold. With the Embrace system, you can get that. So, like I said, it's the little things we talked about. The bolts, the patented aluminum stays, 
um, the addition of the universal headrest mount. So if you have someone else's headrest and you only have funding for the back, you're going to be able to fit that right onto this back. The um, strap guides that are built into the system, the bolts that we paid attention to. Let's talk about the laterals that we can slide up and down. Now. So the laterals themselves, I'm going to take those aluminum stays out to kind of show you the, what we can do with them. Put this back. So the laterals themselves, being able to use the gear teeth on these, open them up, open up these over here. Again, everything is either done from the top or from the back of the back. Now these, these wings aren't all the way in either. And look at the adjustment in that we can get with them. Look at that. And the adjustment out that we're going to be able to get with them. You can adjust them up, you can adjust them down, you can accommodate for a scoliosis. You can block one side here and put one side up here. The adjustment that you get within being able to grow the back forward and back is second to none. Everything done from the back with one bolt, with one Allen wrench. So, I mentioned about the lateral pads and how they don't have that sharp edge. Everything is, is waterfalled over the top. We have the swing away mechanism. That grinding is the gear tee. So all of the adjustments that we have in each one of these adjustments, they're actually gear tooth. So when you lock them down, it's actually metal on metal that's gear tooth together acting as a key so that it's not going to be able to move. You have to loosen that bolt up in order for those to actually move. Being able to lock them down is so important. Same thing with the headrest. The headrest has gear toothed adjustments. Whew. Again, M6 bolts, pipe. <laughs> you can really crank down on this. All of the adjustment that you get with this headrest, you can get that headrest. Ask your dealers how many problems that they have with headrests getting the pad low enough and tilted back enough on the system without it coming forward. I guarantee you they're going to love this headrest because it's not going to come out of adjustment because of the gear teeth that are in there. You're going to be able to get the pad low enough and tilted back enough on the back. Let me lock this back into place here. You're going to be able to offset the headrest pad if you would so need to. You can take this bracket and you can actually mount it to the side. And with this, you can even offset the pad this way. So if you have someone who's leaning over onto the side much, you can accommodate for that. The headrest pads are all stainless steel moldable. You can increase or decrease the contour of the pad as you so wish. They come in different widths for the back, so you can have a full width pad if you need to, all the way up to 18 inches and all the way down to 14 inches. Stainless steel. You can get them with offset bracket itself. So if you need a hardware that's coming right off the back, it's a universal ball and socket. So you can use this hardware with other people's ball and socket. And it's a universal half inch vertical shaft going into this clamp so that you can use this hardware on other people's clamps and you can just easily switch it out. Again, all of the gear teeth that are in there with all of the adjustment makes you lock it down, keep it in place, and it's not going to move or come out of adjustment. So we talked about the aluminum stays, we talked about the bolts, we talked about the compass hardware. We talked about the safety features of the compass hardware in order to maintain the angle of the back that you're going to, going to need. We talked about the laterals and the adjustability of the laterals going to bring them in and out. Um, whether it be with the laterals themselves or with the wings, 
These wings also, by the way, you can get them flat. So if you don't want any kind of contour to the back, you just need a linear system so you allow for a lot of movement, you can get these in just a flat so they don't have to be contoured. Um, let's talk about the cover. We talked about the aluminum stays in there. Standard off the shelf. When we first started this, we, we told you, I told you that we came out with a off the shelf solution to provide a custom contoured fit for your patient. This right here is our standard configuration. When you order an off the shelf embrace back, you get a half inch of the HR medium foam with this EVA structural layer to help any, prevent any bottom nail from happening. Now, this is also our E2617, our custom coated seating system. So you can change the amount of foam on here. If you want a visco memory foam, you can get any type of layer of visco memory that you'd like. You can layer them yourselves. You have the options of extra soft, soft, and medium visco foams. If you don't like visco and you want to go with an HR foam, you can get medium, soft, and extra soft HR foams, and you can layer them in any combination that you want. The types of covers we have is a Comfort Tech material, which is this. It's incontinence. It's easy to wipe up. We also have a stretch air cover which is our more breathable and fabric option. Um, kind of keep you a little bit cooler in the winter time. So as far as ordering a custom version of this, you need something with just a little bit softer foam on it. You've got a little pressure issue, it'll be a little bit more comfortable. We have an easy to download order form that you have to fill out. It's got great pictures of how to do it. It'll have the laterals, the headrests, the hardware. It'll have the compass hardware, our patented co compass hardware. It'll have the Rocker X option, which is our four points of attachment. So if you have someone with really high tone, it'll attach right down here to the canes and give you that four points of attachment. For your larger backs, like I can show you over here, and I'll show you this, guys, in just a little bit, you can get that four point attachment for your younger adults that get the higher tone you know, your headbangers and guys that are really going at it. Now, when, when I first started talking, I told you I'd mentioned something about the dynamic features of the Embrace system. The Embrace system was engineered and designed to have a little bit of flex and a little bit of give to it. So with your higher tone kids, they're gonna be able to go back into a seating system and when they go into extensor tone, the back is gonna give and it's gonna take stress off of your wheelchair. It's going to take stress off of the compass hardware. It, it's not going to come and loosen up as much because the back is taking a lot of that force. So the dynamic nature of this, which there's a lot of studies out there right now where dynamic is good. We don't like static. The human body is meant to move around and be in motion. Adding that dynamic feature to that back makes this one of the only solutions out there for a dynamic seating system. And I can talk more about the cushion when we get into the cushion as far as the dynamic nature of the cushion. So for pediatrics, it's a new way of doing old business. We went away from the old and we came to the new. We went away from plywood. We went to a more durable, more adjustable, stronger T6 aluminum shell. We went away from t nuts in one inch of adjustments. And for pediatrics, when they grow, you have that ability to get that half inch quarter inch adjustment that just gives them that little bit of stability so that they can be more functional in the world. We went away from pan head bolts and we gave you strong steel deep welded bolts. So there's stripped out bolts and wasting time taking them out is a thing of the past. We've gone over the contour of the back, the patented aluminum stays and how we can accommodate for lordosis or any type of um, posterior pelvic tilts that we need for, um, for stability in the pelvis. And we've gone over the adjustments that you can get out of the compass hardware, giving you five inches in front of the back and four inches behind the back. I've gone over the technique for you and how to install the compass hardware. So you're going to hit a home run every single time. And when you're doing your in-service, you're not going to struggle with the compass hardware, putting it on. It's just gonna go in like butter every time. You're gonna lock it down with the patient in place and it's going to be a great in service for you guys. We've gone over the new way of doing old business with the Embrace Back. 